Ibis Paint just released five new exciting features, and I'm really excited about them. Trust me, three of them are incredibly useful for editors and drawing artists. Make sure to watch the video until the end and comment below which one you like the most. So here we are in Ibis Paint X, and the first update is that we can now create folders in the gallery. Let's see how that's done. To add a project to a folder, click on the project you want, then drag it on top of another project like this. You can create folders this way, and you can even add a folder within another folder. How do you move a project out of a folder? It's easy, just drag it back, and it will be removed from the folder. There's also another way to organize your projects. Click on Select at the top right, then if you look down here, you'll see options to delete or click on the folder icon. Now you can move it to any folder you like. I'm going to move this one to folder two. You can create new folders in this way as well, allowing you to move projects or folders from one place to another. I find this update pretty cool. The next feature is only available on tablets. When you click on layers, there's a new minimize icon at the top right. You can move it around, make it bigger or smaller, and stretch it. I'm really loving this feature, and I'll definitely be using it from now on. Next is an AI filter feature, which isn't working for me because it's a membership feature. Anyway, I'm not planning to use it, but for people who create anime characters, it could be helpful as it turns real background images into a watercolor effect. The next feature is very useful for both drawing artists and editors. We've all likely faced the issue of not being able to find the layer we painted on. This new update will help with that. Click on the eyedropper tool, select an area, and you'll clearly see which layer it's on in the top left. Then just click on that layer and it automatically selects it. The last update is about selecting the category for the daily ranking. I'm not too interested in this one, but feel free to check it out if it's relevant to you. So that's it. These are the new updates. I'm really happy with the folder organization, the floating layers, and the eyedropper tool for finding layers. Comment below which feature you like the most. That's it, guys. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. It really motivates me to make more videos.